for the installation of Yukon Super Joints. For installation of standard universal joints, please refer to our other video. First, make sure your area is clean and free of contaminants. Begin by deburring the inside of the yoke ears with a flat file. Next, deburr the U-joint bores with a round file. Wipe off the yoke ears to remove any metal shavings that may be present. Apply a small amount of grease to the inside of the U-joint bore to allow the cap to install more easily. There can be up to a few thousandths interference between the bore and the cap. Take a small amount of U-joint grease provided in the kit and apply it to the insides of the U-joint's cap. Next, install the O-rings into the caps. Insert the cross into the first axle yoke. Place the full circle clips onto the cross by tilting the cross so that the clip can clear between the cross and the axle ear. With the clips on, you can proceed to install the caps. Make sure that the Zerk fittings have not been installed before you install the cap. Hold the cross up while pounding on the cap. Drive the first cap past flush through the yoke bore. This will help with the installation of the other side. Now install the other side. Once both caps have been installed, it is time to seat the full circle clip. You'll need to put the joint into a vise with undersized sockets pressing in on the caps. This will allow you to move the axle yoke back and forth with a brass punch to allow clearance for the clips. You can either pound on the outside of the yoke or the inside of the yoke. To move the axle for clearance, pound on the axle side. If the ears are bent inward and you need to open them back up, hit the open side with a brass punch. Once both clips are in, the joint may feel very tight. Hit the outside of the yoke with a hammer, which will seat the clips and loosen up the joint. It is not critical if the joint still feels tight, but it is critical that the clips are seated properly. Once the U-joint is installed into one axle, repeat the steps for the other side.
Once the joint has been installed into both axles, it's time to install the Zerk fittings into all four caps. With all four Zerk fittings installed, use the grease gun provided in the kit to fill all four reservoirs with grease.